Hello. Uh, probably like a lot of you, in the past week I have been watching the news about the invasion of Ukraine with anger and uh, despair and I don't often make videos directly responding to like, what's happened to the world and like larger politics and I know a lot of people watch my videos in order to escape uh, these larger things that are happening in the world and I certainly don't blame anyone who has to turn away from the news or has to compartmentalize how they are, are watching this news in order uh, to not allow themselves to be completely consumed with sorrow or to for their their own like you know state of mental health and and dealing with the anxiety about what is occurring there but i i want to make a video talking about this uh partly because i've been reading some things in the past week um, which have given me a different perspective on war and conflicts like this uh just sort of in general but but also i think there's a kind of solace in joining together to express our outrage and upset about what's occurring uh, and and this feeling if you're like me and in a relatively privileged position where uh, you are not affected by these issues directly then there is a frustration in, and a feeling of like helplessness of not being able to do much. I mean, other than to donate to causes which are trying to assist people that are being affected by this conflict and uh, to be vigilant by watching the news and listening to the politicians and, and responding and to and, you know, sending in my my messaging complaints if I feel like the politicians and the community and the region and the country that I'm living in are going wrong and expressing my like protest about what is occurring then there's there's not a lot else that I personally can do and and so I think joining together to you know say that we are feeling the the same way there's there's a kind of solace in that and uh, and so i i wanted to make a video talking about this and talking about how i'm been feeling in the past week because i'm sure a lot of you are feeling uh, the the same way and i don't have any new insight uh, you know to add to any of the, the events that are going on other than to just express that and uh, and so i want to to talk about this and uh and there's there's an incident um from the past which i was involved in which which i want to discuss with first which may seem like a bit a bit strange but uh but bear with me and and it's a slightly humorous uh, account um only in in that it's um it's so absurd that i was in this situation so several years ago back in like 2013 i acted as an extra in this television documentary series drama um, I'm, I'm not sure what the final result was I, I never actually saw the fin the finished program of, of this I just sort of showed up and acted as an extra in um, this this drama which was a recreation of the Battle of Kuala Ijengi in Af which occurred in Afghanistan in 2001 it was a, a prison of prisoner of war uprising um, which which occurred and uh, I played a soldier um, in this this documentary series uh, and uh, so went along to this remote location in the English countryside uh, and and this sort of like dilapidated castle um, which was recreated as this battleground and uh, and so I uh, played this soldier and and was given a kind of crash course in military training in uh and how to handle a weapon and i was handed a, a large weapon um, which only had blanks in it um but uh but still required training because even though it just had blanks it was still dangerous to carry this thing and and uh and so uh yeah so i played this soldier and and i don't want to in any way pretend that i have an understanding of what it was like being a soldier in this conflict because obviously this was a fictional situation I could step away from it for for any time at any time but uh, but 
at the same time, it gave me this kind of insight into what would it be like if I had to be a soldier in this, if in, in a conflict like this, if I was either conscripted or if I was made to be a part of a compulsory military service, what, what would it be like to, to be in this situation? And, and I was being trained by a man that was actually from the military and was around other men that were, um, and most of them were, were actors. Some of them did have military training and experiences as well. And so, uh, so yeah, I was sort of thrown into this situation and I was absolutely useless. I, I didn't know, I couldn't control how I handled the weapon. I, I was really awkward. And, and, uh, and so I know if I was in a situation like this, I would be absolutely useless. And, uh, and so I, the, book I was reading this past week also gave me an insight into this. Um, so I've been reading this novel called Five Days Untold by Badr Ahmed. And this is uh, set in Yemen uh, several years ago. It's never specifically named the conflict involved in this or um, or even like where it's specifically set. Uh, but, um, but it involves a civil war and Part of the novel is narrated from the point of view of a soldier that is conscripted into the army and is made to be part of this um, civil war. And he, he actually says at the um, beginning of the novel, uh, how will I avoid being killed? I was unable to process it all. I wasn't made for this. I was created to draw and sculpt, to cultivate beauty in small corners and to plant delight in people's souls. And uh, so he is completely out of his depth and knows that he is not made for this. Um, and, uh, but it, this story shows you his experience over the course of five days when he's being made to be involved in this conflict and, and, and the absolute horror of that. And, uh, and, it, and it shows those horrifying situations and the mentality um, that someone goes through in this situation who doesn't want to be involved in this conflict but is forced to be involved in it and how he is put on trial for being a soldier in this when he, he didn't want to be involved in it in the first place. And though this is an entirely different country and, and uh, situation, you know, the, the, I think the precepts of war are, you know, similar in, in a lot of these situations and probably what is occurring in the Ukraine now for a lot of people that are being forced to defend their families and their communities and their nation against uh, a battle which is completely like the reasons for it are, are completely false and uh, and and is completely unprovoked and 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 they're being forced into this situation and uh, and so many Ukrainians are, are being displaced and killed and forced into hiding and are experiencing this terror on a day-by-day -day basis and you know and similarly the uh, a lot of Russians are, are similarly soldiers are probably being involved in this conflict and, and not wanting to be involved. You know, there's a lot of brave Russians which are standing up and protesting against this, even though that they know the cons personal consequences for them are going to be awful. And a lot of the soldiers probably went into this with being given false reasons for why they are being involved in this conflict. Uh, so, you know, they're I'm seeing both sides of, of this, so I'm obviously incredibly sympathetic with the, the Ukrainians who are being attacked in, the, in this way. And, uh, and so, yeah, I find that uh, it, it helps that to not only watch the news and be aware of what is happening in the world in this way, but also to read literature which keys me into this experience and can show me the personal side of, of this this conflict and, and what it is 
actually like to to experience this because I think one of the difficulties of watching the news is that I mean there there's a lot of issues to do with with the news in general in that it, it gives this laser focus on particular issues going on in the world while not being able to cover a lot of other issues that are going in the world I mean no doubt this battle and this attack on the Ukraine is going to have enormous consequences for everyone to in the, that country and in that country going forward but also is going to have consequences for the rest of the world and how the the world interacts with Russia going forward um so uh so yeah that I'm not undermining the the seriousness and the importance of what is going on the historical importance of what is going on but also there's lots of other things going on in the world there's uh, which uh, are you know are not being paid attention to because this is the focus that everyone is is on. So yeah, I have that issue with the news. But another issue I have with the news is is that uh, that there can be this numbing effect. And, you know, this isn't the uh, necessarily a problem with the broadcasters or journalists, but this is um, this is an issue to do with someone who watches the news and that you are made uh, aware of, of all of these things and you can be kind of numbed to it over time that you see these huge numbers of uh, people that are being affected by this conflict and after a while it can only start to seem like numbers and and that is a real issue um, because it, it, you can be kind of numb to it when actually this is affecting so many individuals and uh, and so reading a book like this you know sort of keys me into that experience and reminds me that that there are so many individuals that are experiencing this horrifying situation which is ongoing and uh, and so i appreciated reading this book um for that reason in the, this past week um even though yeah i know a lot of people would prefer to read things to uh to as sort of escapism um to temporary escapism um from the the horror of what's going on in the world and i don't blame anyone that that does that but at the same time i do also like to read books that can key me into this experience and give me a different experience perspective on it um you know from the point of view of someone that is experiencing this this conflict or has experienced this conflict and and uh, and so i appreciated this book for that reason i mean i have certain issues with the book and how it handled it doesn't only portray the violence of of the the psychological and physical uh, violence of of war, but um, but it also uh, portrays uh, sexual violence um, with a horrible tyrannical man and between him and his wife, and uh, and I I do have slight issues with the way that the novel handled that, and um, but at the same time there there was so much about this book that I I thought was was very moving and um, and. And, and and really gave me a different perspective uh, in in that way. Uh, but but also, I, I I one of the other most powerful books about war I've read um, in recent years uh, is the novel At Night All Blood Is Black by David Diop, uh, who, which uh, yeah came out um, a, a year ago and and uh, and is about. Uh, and told from another um, soldier's point of view in a very different context, who is drawn into a war and is driven to the brink of madness by the war and this conflict and uh, and yeah following his experience and I thought this was such a powerful novel so I wanted to point out these these two books as uh, examples of literature that that does like key you into that experience and yeah I just want to talk about how I'm I'm feeling in general and and responding to this and uh, and so to anyone else that is feeling like I am say you know you're not alone in, in feeling this way and uh, and so uh, so that is that is all I wanted to say um, I I hope wherever you are you are you are okay and uh, doing well and like I said I don't you know blame you if you if you need to turn away from the news for a certain period of time to um, to for your own like mental health uh, that I think that is like totally valid um, but at the same time if you want to engage and think about these issues uh, that rather than just watching the news um, yeah I want to uh, talk about some books so 
I'm sure I will be back soon talking about book prizes and other things that I'm reading and um, and if you prefer just to watch those videos that I do then I, I totally understand that as well um, so but I but I I thought it would be dis disingenuous if I would continue to make videos like that and talking about book prizes in this happy way while not talking about the the real upset that I've been feeling in the past week because of the events that have been unfolding. So I will speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.